welcome back to Actually Anything. It's the podcast that's actually about anything, and today is my guest, Nick Allums. So, we know each other from our friend Brian Raleigh, who happens to be your keyboard player in your band called The Wayward Strangers. Yes, that's right. And I can't for the life of me remember like how long we've known each other, but I know it's been a pretty long time. Yes, I, it's been at least two to three years. Yeah, and I have at to least, that. right? Yeah, because yeah, I would have met you at one of his parties. I that's probably joined, where it was. Yeah, I first joined the band about four years ago. Um, so, yeah, about the same time I joined the band is about the same time. Yeah. I just met you, yeah. You know, I feel like a decent amount of people that I know now I met, like, through Brian and at his parties and <laughs> yeah. stuff. And it's cool. It's a fun group, man. I, I feel like we always see each other when we go yeah, out places. We yeah. just, sometimes we just randomly bump into each other because it's a very small island. I mean, yeah, so, that. Yeah, it's and a good it's band. And it's a small world. Absolutely. You can see anybody in the city, honestly. It's very true. Fun fact, Brian was my first podcast guest when I started this whole thing. Oh, yeah. yeah, I don't know. For some reason, I, I, I wanted to reach out to someone, and I reached out to him first. And I had him on for the very first episode. It was cool. We talked about like how he works at um the the candy shop. The, oh, I, yeah. Eggers. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he owns it. His right, he do. Owns it. Yeah, that, that's such a cool, cool. thing. Yeah. <laughs> So the ice cream. Uh. what's <laughs> yeah right though no, he had the, they had this big event there once for our friend Mark and they were giving out like like a bunch of ice cream and stuff and yeah, it was great. So what's going on with you now? What, what, what's happening? Um well currently we're I'm still in the band obviously we're, we're still go. Um yeah I'm still in the band obviously we're still doing things we're um working on the album we're trying to get it out by the end of October. Oh, okay. Um. But, nah, there's no buts. We we really yeah we're really working hard. We got the money. Yeah, you guys do. Out. We we um. Every live show is really really fun. You guys yeah. always kill it. You know. I try to bring the energy every yeah. set. I try to bring something new, especially with the energy and the um, just getting the crowd involved. You know, getting the people involved. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And I've noticed that. You know, every everyone seems to have like really uh, you know a blast. You know, everyone. Yeah. And we'll you know we'll get the same crowd. Like I said, you know, it's usually our friends, and we'll we'll. Uh, we're kind of all like dedicated to like supporting each other and just being there for each other, just, and, and that's what I love about like everyone just goals, here. You know? You know, it's just true. It's Absolutely. just a true um, network going on here. Yeah, they, they, we're, we're kind of just all trying to get each other up on yeah. the come up. You know? Yeah, like, right. Yeah. Right. Every time when Wayward has a show, I try to take photography for them too, depending on like where we are and stuff, and. And you know that too. Like I have a fun time doing that. It's one of my favorite things to shoot, like live music. You know. And he always does it. My favorite one, <laughs> which is not even really a picture of me, but it's a picture of me with the um the lights in the background. He's telling that. that oh, one was and, and you're kind of like blurry, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah probably that's, put that's that in dope. the um, you know the. That, you know what's funny because that was kind of like an accident. I didn't like mean to do that, yeah. but like the focusing was off. So, like, when I took it, I was like, oh, fuck, that's not in focus. But then I looked at it, and I was like, oh, shit. You know? <laughs> but sometimes that's, that yeah. happens. It's like Beautiful happy accidents. Yeah. It's like uh, the the painter, Bob Ross, oh, right. happy we could accidents. Actually, we could actually put that on the TV. <laughs> we could, actually. You want to? Sure, if you want yeah, to. Yeah, I'm down. We'll just put it on mute. All right. So, usually when you perform, you don't always have an instrument. You kind of save that for, your, you know, uh, Anthony and Brian and Gib. Right. But you are working on a solo project, and that's going to involve more instruments with you, just yeah, yeah, you yeah. and Mainly, this guitar. Yeah, this one's exactly right here. Um, yeah, I have an LP coming out, um, and it's mainly a bunch of acoustic songs that I had. Well, it was supposed to be an LP, and I kind of I'm gearing more towards an album because, like, literally today I just found out I have like other songs that I could actually throw into there to really make a full like ten song set. To make it like a full okay. album length. That's dope. You know, um, project. Good, so, yeah, yeah, I'm working on that as it actually, currently. Just trying to get that set up today, but having a whole bunch of technical difficulties over here, so. Any technical difficulties with the, the mic right there? Or? No, it's it's mostly with just the connectivity of everything. Oh, okay, I got you. I want to I wanna run everything off of this mic because of the Chaotica. Um, but I was also thinking about switching it out with the um, performance mic that I have because of this, like the sound distortion that you can okay. get from it. I got you. Yeah. 
You you explained to me before what that was. For for those that don't know, do you want to give like a little Oh yeah, little um brief? if you haven't gotten a Chaotica, no um sponsors from Chaotica. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Um right. <laughs> um this is actually a pop filter. Now, believe it or not, it only comes with just this little foam that's covering it. Right. And um, the mic comes separately, obviously. The mic actually costs less than the pop filter itself. And it's a, yeah, like... That's insane. A, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a pop filter that's mainly supposed to... Um, it, just, it just takes the condenser microphone and kind of like puts it into a booth. It's, okay. it's like mainly the idea of why it's kind of got this whole coverage. It's like an isolation shield, pop filter, all in one type vibe, you know. So, so is that kind of how when you're in a studio recording and there's foam all over, you know, like the ceilings, the walls, is that kind of what it's trying to yeah, replicate? That's, yeah, that's kind of what gotcha. it, it doesn't replicate, it literally replaces it. It literally. Wow. Yeah, yeah, so you don't need a whole. You don't need yeah. a studio booth, it, like which would be a, a whole lot of money not, to like rent or something, yeah, and just it, well, actually, yeah. so the money really is it, it would come from putting the time into it. You know, that's really where the money. Because some people they can get into like my brother. Um, I, I, I we probably throw him in there. Um, but sure. yeah, my little brother, um, Malik. He also goes by Altair Sinclair or Melo Moscato. You know, he's all over the place. <laughs> Um, he's just as indecisive as me. I love him to death. I put him in everything that, you know, I do because that's just family, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, but, I respect um, that too. Yeah, he does his music and he'll get into the studio and like literally, he's been working on this song for so long when he gets into the studio, as long as it takes to make the song is about as long as it's going to take him to record it. So he'll get into the studio 10, 15 minutes, he's done. You know, and you usually get what, like fifty dollars an hour to a hundred dollars an hour. Wow. You know, in studio timing. So he's already halfway done with the, the job. I mean, honestly, this cost it it would actually be cheaper for him to go to the studio to make a song than to come here, buy this and make it all that. Yeah, that's like, insane. It's man. it's it's literally crazy. But Where'd you get it if from? you put more time anyway. into it. You actually you actually have to buy it off the website. Oh, yeah, their own website? Yeah, they have oh, their okay. own website oh. and their own delivery. Interesting. Yeah. That's pretty dope, though. Process. Does he help you write songs, usually? or My brother? Yeah. Um, We've written some songs together. I actually have a mixtape on um, SoundCloud. Oh, you can, really? You can drop that in. The, um, the yeah, you list. got it. Description below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah. Um, cool. I actually have a mixtape on SoundCloud, and one of the songs in there is called Genie genie mode so to speak and yeah he's on he's on one of those songs i like that man. yeah now when you are making songs of wayward you usually go to that studio at snug harbor right right yeah. which is like the coolest room ever i'll probably show you guys there uh the place one day well you know um actually i did a podcast with james arlo and we were in that room yeah but we made it a audio only because he preferred that. I was like, okay, that's fine. But we were in that room, which is funny. Yeah. So, but it's cool because maybe one day on the pockets, I will I will show it, uh, what it looks like there. Because it's, yeah. it's a really fun spot. Always, yeah. always welcome. You yeah. Know? It's yeah. always a vibe there. <laughs> we do like jam sessions there. But I mean, whenever, I don't usually go there to um, make the songs. A lot of the songs that I've made for Wayward has been on the toilet or in the shower. You know, like. <laughs> Dude, sometimes like it's it's the <laughs> like places you least singer. expect. You'll yeah. you'll come up with the best ideas, mm -hmm. you know. That's usually how it happens, yeah. honestly. And um, but yeah, I mean, showers yeah, in the shower you have less distractions, so you're kind of all in your head. Mm -hmm. you know? Usually, just freestyling, going off. With Wayward, what, what would you say is your favorite song that you've written or created um, with them? You know? Man, I mean, I, I have There's so much lot. fun with each of them. Um, I can say the song that I like to perform is Lucy. I always say this. I, like that one too. I actually say that all the time when I'm performing live. I'll be like, yeah, this is my favorite song yeah. to perform. It's because it's so short and simple. And like, it just it just hits that pop rock vibe that like I've been always looking for yeah. in the band. Yeah. I like that song. Uh, I think it's the name of the song, Cutie. Oh, QTs? Yeah, QTs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, guys, you, you, you know how to get a crowd uh, going, man. And that's what's cool. Like, your songs are very catchy. They're not, 
and you've and they're originals, right? Yeah. For the, for like most yeah, of them. Yeah, all of them. Are. Yeah, that that's great. I know you guys do some covers too, which is fun. Yeah, we do like we have like I think five covers set. Right, right. But we don't actually like. So we'll actually put in unless we have like a three hour set or like a five hour set. Usually we'll put one or two covers if if any in our sets. That's dope. Anything between like an hour to hour and a half, it's straight originals. I Just like all that. the way through, yeah. It's yeah, I don't know. It's like we're not a cover band. Like we wanna get people to understand that. Like we got songs right. that we made that we can perform that you can enjoy and that's just the vibe, you know. Yeah, you know, I, I think the problem with some bands, unless they're trying to be a cover band in in general, I think some of them get stuck down the cover band cover band rabbit hole yeah. and that's all they'll ever be, you know? Like they don't try to make new music or or something different. There's a Chick-fil-A commercial. This is fun. That's made of funny. We had Bob Ross on. Yo, Bob Ross is is the fucking man. I used to watch him like with my dad and stuff. Yeah. Like when, yeah when I mean, I watch him literally nonstop on this TV. Really? Um, yeah, it's actually, <laughs> it's like a channel. <laughs> He's cool, man. Yeah. I, oh, he has his own like. Well, for for Samsung, so Samsung has like their own like TV, fake TV channel. Oh, stuff. I got you. I got yeah. you. You know what's funny? Because I feel like there's podcasts out there that for the most part don't have cuts. You but know. I don't know. I feel like I'm not at that point yet where I could just do that. Like, well, you know? Personally, especially with video podcasts um, and with the world today that we live in and our short attention span, cuts kind of draw the the um, attention of the um, audience because in a podcast, if you get those cuts, then it's like they're talking about one thing and it kind of like switches over and then it's like, oh, oh, they're like, kind of just skip just now what's going on yeah right right you know and it's kind of true because yeah the world nowadays we have a short attention span we yeah, barely can listen to a two minute song nowadays we gotta shoot what song is popper now gallus because it's what one minute and 30 seconds you know what i'm saying right. compared to like all and these <laughs> long songs that they put so much work in that just don't get that much love i, I was uh i wanted to ask you has the, this current situation, this whole like COVID pandemic thing. Well, I don't think it's as bad as it is, as it was last year. But in terms of uh, everything happening, has it affected the way you've wrote songs and you know um, your lyrics? Maybe like how you feel about certain things and I mean just overall. You know, to be honest, to be completely honest, the world and what the world goes through has nothing to do with what I go through. <laughs> like, absolutely like that, nothing. I'm talking about, there could be a hurricane right outside my door. This is how my room's going to look. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope so. I mean, that's a bit of an over-exaggeration, but in the sense, like, you know, like, you know, yeah. people could be running around the street and bugging out. I mean, I'm going to be inside because who's going outside with all that mess, you know? Yeah. And I honestly, it's like... And the same thing the same thing goes for like when I'm around p- other people like I don't let their energies and vibes affect my Especially I mean, obviously, if it's like negative or something Yeah, obviously yeah. people's energies and vibes affect you naturally but that's just because you're human and we're all social creatures, you know. Right. So um naturally it would have an effect on you, but like what you do with that effect is is and the attention that you give it is the is actually the power that you would give it, you know what I'm saying? So if someone coming at me yelling, screaming, ah, this, that, and the third, put your mask on. I'm just like, I'm chilling, bro. You're yeah. Right. <laughs> no, sometimes you can't let the weight of the world and everything happening kind of affect like what you're. Yeah, that's right. Like what you love right now, because mm-hmm. you, you know you might get uh turned away. You know you might not yeah. want to do it anymore. You know, like I look, I, I had a friend. And he was really into photography, and, you know, life's happening, and I feel like he hasn't really done it in a while. So, when's your next show? Um, well, we have a lot coming up for the spooky season, you know. Oh, true, yeah, yeah. Halloween's coming very yes. soon, one of my favorite holidays. Mm-hmm. Um, we got one on the ninth, the ninth, actually. I have the no ninth. clue where it is. Okay. Um, there's one... At, I believe Delancey. Uh, that might just be on. Is that in the show. city or Brooklyn? In the city. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, low East Side. You got like? Are you gonna wear like some costumes and Good stuff? Spot. 
Um, for some probably shows? for the end of the month. Okay. Like we have a couple of shows there. We might just pull out some costumes, but we might. Who knows? If you come by, we might just surprise you with some. That sounds fun, man. Yeah, I might. I might go through with a whole Jimmy. Jimmy fit on. Oh, know? dude, that'd be cool. With some silk I feel like you already kind of have the look. I mean, as I mean, is, especially I, with the bandana. Yeah, I naturally <laughs> kind of just go outside looking like Jimi Hendrix for no reason. That's literally by accident. <laughs> I, I'm not even going to lie. I just grab stuff, throw it on, and when I go outside, they're like, Jimmy! Like, I'm just like, <laughs> man. So besides Jimi Hendrix, have you gotten inspiration from any other artists out there? Um... Most of my artists that I get inspiration from is mostly R&B. Yeah? Yeah, based. Um, I could say, like, the first time ever listening to music. Um, mainly gospel, you know? Okay. Like, Donald cool. McClurkin. Um, is, like, the first guy that comes to my mind when I think of, like, inspiration in music. And then I, then you, like, branch off into R&B and, like... Like someone who really caught my ear the first Kanye? time listening to music. No, um, Neo. Oh, word. Yeah, I wasn't actually like I was a I was a very um, depraved kid, <laughs> so I, I didn't have much electronics as a kid. So, like I'd only be listening to what everybody else was listening to around me or what's on the radio. You know, it's funny. I said I said Kanye, but he's not. Our- no, I'm saying R and B. Yeah, he's more yeah. hip hop. Yeah, right, he's, right. He's got he's got a lot of hip hop R and B staple. You know? I guess I, I you know what you know why I said him I I guess I'm thinking about like oh Kanye he just came out with a new album which is not bad. It's yeah, okay. It's, it's all right. Yeah. It's literally. Everyone's having honestly, the war right now between Drake and, and yeah, Kanye. Who and came that, out with a better album? And that's literally just because they came out with an album, you know, at the, at same, the same time. time. Yeah, if, and if, if, if it was one month apart, they wouldn't be doing not that. Not even. If they were... People just love drama. If, they were, if they were like your everyday running a mill new artist. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Like some Travis Garland. I don't want to yeah. say he's not running a mill because he actually is really good. And he's pretty known for... Yeah. You know who he is, <laughs> but like yeah, Travis Garland or like um, who else? Um, Todrick Hall. You know what I'm saying? Like these are two. Mm-hmm. Todrick Hall's a YouTube famous, and and same thing with um, um, Travis Garland. But right. they're not. They're not. If they did an album and dropped it at the same time, they're not gonna put publicity out on it because they wouldn't get any. Yeah, exactly. It's literally just all about the publicity. The, mm-hmm. Everything that's it done is. in this world is done. For what is the I, I hate when I lose words. I know, me too. Yeah, um, just diplomacy. It's pretty pretty much the yeah sum total of it. Like and it doesn't money. really matter, but but people make such a big deal about like mm-hmm. it's all about like the that. money. Like, yeah, absolutely. It's absolutely. all about the money. It's all about the Benjamins. <laughs> nah, yeah, I, I I listen to a lot of hip hop too. Um, gotcha. But like ma- mainly R and B is where you got your inspiration. Well, actually, I do have a lot of um, hip hop um, inspirations too. Cause, think about like, s- s- um, rapping is that if you just the singing is pretty much, especially singing fast is like rapping in like true, true, and with style is pretty much what it is. Yeah, I guess that's what they call it, like freestyling, right? Yeah, yeah in I, sense. Would, I would say. Yeah. There's these guys that um, I I see sometimes at. Union Square Park, they called Legendary Cipher. It's basically just a group of guys. I had one of the uh, one of the organizers on on my podcast. I think I met him before. Union Square is the spot. Man. Yeah, I love, I love going in. It's sick. It, Actually, yeah, yeah. I did every the Friday they yeah the Cipher yeah, and they all just um, rap freestyle back and forth at each other in a circle, and it's the coolest thing. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's like it's like stuff like that. There's a lot of like hidden talent in New York, especially with musicians, that should be discovered more. That's why I want, you know, pe- more people to know about Legendary Cypher. That's why I want more people to know about Wayward Strangers. You know what I mean? True, true. And, yeah, you know, that's that's New York for you. New York is such a talented city, like, just filled with so many, like, extraordinary people. And, you know, it's a shame not everyone gets, like, the spotlight and the credit they deserve, you know, it, it takes a yeah. lot longer than it should to get up there. That is true. But, I mean, I think in that sense, what it all has to do and all it comes down to is marketing. True, true. It's just how you promote yourself. It's, it's literally, 
You have to yeah. think you're the best too, you know. I mean, in a sense. In a sense, in a sense that is true, but mostly you gotta be hungry. Yeah. That's mainly what it is. Because you gotta you be humble it, too. Nah, it's, it's, you gotta no? be hungry. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Hum- I, like I'm talking about, there's artists out there that is far <laughs> from humble, and the, no, the first thing that comes to mind is every <laughs> trap artist. On the lady yeah, true. You right gotta, now. you gotta kind of be a dick in the beginning. You kind of <laughs> really have to just go for it, <laughs> right. full throttle, That's and you gotta true. put your very all true. your time and energy into it, and literally, <clears throat> oh, like you, you just gotta just come out the loudest, you know. Right. People are only looking at the people who are shot on the loudest, who are in your face with it. You know what I'm saying? And, and yeah. that's that's for some reason that's what they will um, respect and yeah. pay attention to. True. Like it's 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 but it's human biology. It's like you could tell someone, please come on, just can you just sit down? Like, can you not bug up? You know, and and they'll they'll literally keep doing the same thing. But it'd be like, yo, sit the f- down and stop. Yeah, and it'd be like, oh well, this guy's <laughs> yeah yeah, this guy's serious. Yeah, it's all about tone of your voice. Like it, it's true, man. It's well, no, it's really all about the action that you put into. Yeah, it. exactly. There's a lot that goes into it. But, you know, the fact is, you know, you all have to start somewhere, right? You all have a past. You all have a beginning. And I saw this on your wall. I wanted to, like, talk about it. Mm-hmm. And wh- what did you say this was again? So this is actually a gift from a friend of mine, um, an old friend named Malika. So um, it's actually the first song I ever wrote on guitar. And believe it or not, I have that guitar as well. <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah. So, oh, that's it right there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So about 2012, I believe, is when I first started playing guitar, 2012, 2011. So on this guitar, like I wrote this song, and this will actually be on my first album, EP, oh, or whatever yeah. I want to call oh, it. Cool. Yeah. It's and it's be the, like the opening song? It's, yeah, like, that's actually right. That. <laughs> that's awesome. Dude. Yeah, so that's it's the you. first song I ever wrote, and it's going to be the opening song on my album. That's like... Kind of the plan. That's yeah. uh, very meaningful, bro. I, I, I like that a lot. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, does, what's the name of it? Um, so oh, the, take take my breath away. Yeah, take my breath away. Gotcha. That's the name of the song. Was that about a girl? Uh, it's about many girls. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. It's it's a um sad a compilation of my feelings for heartbreak girls, but not requited if that's the word. I'm <laughs> yeah. I feel like most songs are about women. You mm-hmm. notice that? Well, most songs are about love. True, true. Most songs are about your love for something or someone. Otherwise, it's about the attention you put into it, something. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good point. Or someone. But that's what, I mean, that's what really existing is all about. Most songs is really about existing. And yeah, and like usually when you write music, you're speaking from the heart and... It just goes to show, you know, most people want love, you know? Mm-hmm. That's right, yeah. yeah. That is a true fact. That's deep right there. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, for sure. Like, there's actually anything. We, 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 we get really, we get down to the core. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, going back to your uh, your band, Wayward, how'd you even get that name anyway, Wayward Strangers? Oh, well, so the band was actually made before I joined. Um, oh. Was a, yeah, there was a... They had another lead singer before? Yeah, you? so the lead... Really? Yeah, actually the first EP is called Laminar Hearts. That's actually everywhere right now. Oh. Um, guy named Dave, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's Dave. Um, cool guy, by the way. I met him. I was supposed to be jamming with him. I got to hit him up. Um, but, yeah. Um, he... Him and Anthony got together. They met on the bus. And they kind of just, you know... Oh, they met on the bus? Yeah. They wow. kind of just was like, yeah, I play places. music, you play music. And he's like, yeah, we could definitely jam. Oh, dope, man. And they put the band together, and they was trying to come up with a name. And Anthony, I mean, the, the main thing Anthony really tries to stress is that, like, when he was Oh, they were coming strangers. Up with the, yeah, yeah, yeah. When he was coming oh, up with the name, they were oh, all strangers wow. to each other. I mean, right, right. I mean, um, a good amount of them went to LaGuardia. I think two, three of them out of the band. So we got the twin brother um, of Anthony. And then Gibb, oh, those right. three, they knew each other already, so they went to LaGuardia. The, the, uh, the drummer. Yeah, the drummer. I forget his name. Tom. Tom, Tom. Yeah. You know you know what's really cool about Tom? Uh, Tom and the Suds, 
It was their band. Yeah. And they they performed at my house when I had like a little party like in the backyard. That was really cool of them. I missed that. I was I came in late. Oh no, but that's fine, bro. You came you came to like you've come to like almost all my parties. I mean, yeah. It's we've had good vibes. Yeah, we've always had good times there. Um, so what about the wayward part? Um Yeah, so literally it's just a whole bunch of you know, strangers that came together in life. So like, you know, it's kind of just like it kind of just happened, so it's pretty much wavered. Like, gotcha, gotcha. Everyone's kind of just going with the motion. You know? I like that, man. I have, like, one of your guitar picks in... Yeah. I don't even know how I got it. Did I find it on the floor? Did someone hand it to me? I'm no. not even sure. Honestly, they're not... It's like a now, purple one. They're not all yeah, over Staten Island. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can zoom in. They're in, like, the bowels of all, like, the, the saloon bars. Uh, like, it's, it's, it's probably going to have like a horrible the, focus. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're, they're all the over the place. They're in the pr- <laughs> <laughs> They're in like empty beer bottles, like in the recycle. Yeah, right. They're like everywhere. They're everywhere. <laughs> so what? What's new for you guys? What do you have uh, upcoming uh, besides like some shows? That you... um, well, aside from the show and the album, we're working heavy on new songs. To be honest, that's literally I can't it. Can't wait to hear them. Um, we actually got a new drummer. Tom's got a heavy life schedule, so. Oh uh, okay. Yeah, to um, you know bid the band a farewell but uh, mm-hmm. I don't know it's not like a permanent you know he's never gonna be around like you know he'll probably you know he'll do some guest appearances he yeah he, he did That's say cool. that he would um, and he's always a man of his word but he's like as far as like a permanent spot he's he's gotta take a break off of it because of like just other important stuff mm-hmm. that's like calling his attention more than the band or more so than the band oh okay but you know I still love him you know yeah and our new drummer is you know, just as energetic and fun. Probably a little bit more energetic. <laughs> <laughs> that's what matters. That's what yeah. counts. Yeah, he's cool. He's cool. But that's cool, man. Yeah, as long as you guys stay dedicated to your craft and to what you love and believe in, you'll 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 make it, bro. Mm-hmm. I know you will. Oh, shout outs to Chris, the new drummer. He's Oh Chris? Cool guy, yeah. Word, man. I, I don't think I've met him yet, but Yeah, I be- yeah. I believe you have. Yeah, oh uh, maybe. I'm not completely sure, but I believe oh, okay. you have. He's definitely been to our shows for sure. Oh, all right. Um, yeah, he's got a he's got a like heavy chest chats, ch- uh, heavy chest tats. Words. <laughs> um, he always wears like you know what you call it. You, you'll probably know him by face, curly hair. One of my favorite shows I've gone to, to you know, for you mm-hmm. was um when it was uh, Way with Strangers, the Suds that I just mentioned, and the Gov. Just Julia and that was Mother Pugs. Yeah, Mother Pugs, where we just were last Saturday. Mother Pugs on Staten Island is like the ultimate dive bar for punk bands or any any band really, but it seems to be mostly punk bands. Well, it's it's punk band. It's a mixture of punk bands and rap, like trap. Right, right, yeah. And it's and it's a great place. yeah. yeah, it's just really accepting to all of the stuff that people don't accept in the world. And people just, when they go there and do shows, they just have the most fun. I, I love, yeah, Mother Pugs. Mm-hmm. It's really mm-hmm. a vibe. When um, we were there that night, it got, like, so crazy that people started, like, stage diving. And I think, like, some of the people that were stage diving were actually, like, two people that were in Wayward. You know, like, you yeah, guys, yeah, I yeah. think, I don't know, what when did you guys, did you guys perform last, or... Um, we performed first? in the middle. Oh, uh, you, we you performed the middle? second, yeah. Okay. So it was the Suds first, yeah. and they killed it. I mean, honestly, the Suds yeah. is always a vibe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, speaking of um the Suds, I actually commandeered their new guitarist for oh, one of my own bands <laughs> that I'm making by myself, which doesn't have a name. Oh, dope. But okay. this will be the first <laughs> debut, you know, broadcast of it, I'm in a sick, sense. Man. You know, those three bands I mentioned, um, if you're from Staten Island and kind of are familiar with the music scene around here, then you'll know like that that was a pretty cool lineup. You know how you go to a concert, they got some openers, they got some, you know, the headliner, whatever you want to call it. And you're, you're like, oh, shoot, that's a cool lineup. Oh, that festival, that, that was a cool lineup. Like those three, those three sh- uh, performances, those three bands, like everyone was like, oh, shit, you, you, got, you couldn't miss it. You know yeah. what I mean? It was one of those mm-hmm. nights. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, like, the stage diving got so crazy that the show that we went to last week, we saw Jigsaw Youth. They're a three-girl punk band, and they're they're pretty dope, too. 
Um, but they had the barricades, yes. which they didn't have last time. Said no one stays. Yo, yeah, they, they were like, no one stays dives because if someone cracks their head, we don't want to be like uh, uh, lying. You know, yeah. you know what you did. Uh, words of um, how yeah. I met your mother. You know that what you do is awesome when they don't have a rule for it before you. Nailed that, it. Nailed it. That is literally. In How I Met Your Mother episode, I don't know. <laughs> episode, uh, <laughs> that would whatever. be funny if I do the exact episode. Yeah, I was, gonna be so, I was like, wow, like, you really know your shit. <laughs> I do love that show, though, yeah. It is a good show. But that's cool. That's cool. You just did uh, a fun show recently. You were at, um, they were in Qu- you were in Queens, and it was oh, at man. some little food festival, and that was fun. Like That was, yeah, that's, yeah, always, I, that's always a vibe. I met you guys out there. I even brought Patty, my dog. That was fun. Yeah, yeah. Th- th- that was a good time because I was like, you know what? Like, wait, music plus like a bunch of food. Yeah, yeah we we chilled. Fuck by. It, I'm gonna we, go. We actually tried some food, um, together. Um, oh, we did. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. It was uh pretty decent. It was like a big smorgasbord. That uh, that's what it felt like. Yeah. I don't think they really had much of the actual smorgasbord this year. You know that from mm-hmm. whatever. I don't, I didn't really see advertisements for it. So that's why when I heard about this, I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad you pulled up. It was an earlier vibe. Yeah, definitely. It was. Dude. Going back to the the new band stuff, that because um, as far as new things that's coming up, I do I am starting my own band. That's another thing. That I want to oh yeah, new yeah. group. Yeah, so there's a new group. Um, I don't know if you you know Emil, right? Tall. I I mean uh, he came to your party a couple of times. Okay. Actually. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, the dancer dude. So he'll he'll be with me in the band, so kind of like um a two front man gig, and oh. yeah, we have some good um, instrumentalists. Cool, and then he could just kind of freestyle in between. Well, no. Like so what's we're, we're actually going to be making songs. That's actually um, a setup for one of the. Oh, songs is that, that them up there? Um, oh. Well, see, where it says verses, um, pre-chorus, chorus. And oh, gosh. Gotcha. The colors. Okay. It's kind of like just a a, a a composition of how we would sing. The right. Song. Some so, of those uh, names. Uh, a little while. Another another soul. Is that what that says? Or another um, soul gone. Yeah, another soul. Yeah. Is that is that your album? Yeah, that's actually the oh, songs cool. from my album. Yeah. Dope, man. Mm-hmm. There's gonna be seven. Um, Almost. Well, so seven this seven. was the LP setup, which was gonna be seven. Oh, okay. And that's what I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of like an LP album deluxe version thing. I don't know. Gotcha. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure it out. You know, it's it's all um, it's all a vibe. We yeah, just, it's a process. Yeah. Yeah, we're just getting into the project anyway. The songs haven't been actually made made. But they're all done, like, you know. Well, I like that you're uh, being productive. For you know? sure, for sure. Yeah. We, we, we got to keep it moving. We got to... We can't stop, you know. It's only getting harder out there. Oh, I know, man. It, has has any of this, like, affected you personally? Like, really? Um, uh, as know, far as work-wise? I know, I know you said, like, with your music, not really. No, yeah, not with my like, music, but, like, yeah, as far as work-wise. Um, yeah. Oh, I know, work. Uh, don't even it's, get me started. And, I mean, I wouldn't say it has affected me. Well, actually... This card thing is is probably affecting me the most, um, especially since I changed jobs because oh, true. now I'm working more on like tips and stuff because I'm like not yeah, serving you're working but at steakhouse, right? Yeah, I'm working yeah, at a steakhouse, yeah. and yeah, it's they what they do like a lot of people order out, so it's you know it's kind of good on me, but they don't ex- you know they don't really tend to know to tip the server that's giving you takeaway food, you know. You know, I, I respect your hustle, Nick, because, you know, you all work in a steakhouse, but obviously your main passion is your music, and I could tell how hard you're working on that. You're one of the hardest working people that I know, personally, oh, I and your attitude and your determination, it's 100% going to grant you a, a great life, bro, if, if you feel like you don't already have one, but yes. but you, you, you definitely deserve it, man, and I'm like... And I can't wait to see what you're going to do next, Thank man. You. Honestly. Thank you very much. Before we go, uh, would you, would you, uh, not to put you on the spot, but would you like to play maybe like half of a song or like a little? I'll play a full song. Yeah? I, one yeah. thing about me is if you ask me to sing, a little sample? you did it to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I definitely, no, take, yeah. take the stage, my man. All right. Um, yes, for sure. This is actually not too much. <laughs> It's not? No. It sounds tuned. <laughs> I mean, to a, a normal. Gosh. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> it'll be, 
It'd be hilarious to freaking post this. slightly off and I'm just like wow I can hear this <laughs> all right so this is take my breath away by me uh, hope you enjoy song before no <laughs> no i don't think so well oh that was great man yeah. thank you for doing that that, that was that was awesome i'm sure everyone appreciated thank it. you for having me on your your set this oh was, dude anytime this was fun um any last words before we, um, we say goodbye well, no if you want to see more stuff from me you can check me out on nick underscore allens on instagram mainly that's where i'm at i'm um, posting stuff there I'll tag um, that in the description. Yeah, any anywhere else is just really Nick Allums, period. You know, YouTube, um, obviously Instagram, Twitter, um, Facebook. I have, like, stuff on there, too. Um, yeah, pretty much all around. Um, and and um, SoundCloud. I'm not really watching on Spotify or iTunes yet, but, you know, that... In time. Yeah, that song, along with my um, album set, will be out pretty soon on that, so... And I have a whole bunch of stuff coming. Um, I'm working, like I said, nonstop. Dude, so. yeah, I, I, absolutely. Yeah. All, All right, right, yo. S- sounds good, my man. Appreciate Thank it. you. 
once yes. again for coming on. And thank you guys for watching another episode of Actually Anything. Have a good night.